Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to build this amazing clock from scratch. By the way, this is not an animation. It gives you the real time of the day. We will use pure CSS to style the face of the clock in the shape of this dark neomorphism design and then use the JavaScript date object to get the current time of the day. It's really gonna be fun building these guys. So here I've got the basic structure of an HTML document. Guess it's a good place to start, right? So let's change the title here to analog clock. Then down here in the body tag, let's create the basic structure of our clock. So I'm gonna create a div with the class name of clock. This is like a container wrapping the whole clock application. Then inside this, I will create another div with the class name of outer clock face. This is like the clock frame. Then inside, let's create our clock indicators. So we will use indicators instead of numbers from 1 to 12. So here will be div with the class name of indicator, indicator 1. We need four of these. So here will be indicator 2, indicator 3, and here indicator 4. Then here, let's create the inner face of our clock. So div with the class name of inner clock face. Then inside this div, let's create our clock hands. So div with the class name of clock hand. This will be the short hand. We need two more of these. Then this will be the long hand. And this will be the second hand. Then down here, let's create a paragraph tag with the class name of inner text. And then give your clock a brand name if you like. Everything coded. So that's the basic structure of our clock. Now let's style it. So I'll create a new file here and call it style.css. Then let's link this file to our index file. So back to our CSS file, let's start with the page background. Let's grab our HTML tag. Let's give you a background color of this black color like that, six zeros and then text align center, font size 10 pixel. Then let's grab the body tag. Let's give it a margin of zero, font size two rem, display flex, flex one, mean height 100 VH, align items center. Next is our clock background. So let's grab the clock class and give it a width of 30 rem, height 30 rem, position relative padding 2 rem. Let's give it a border of 7 pixel solid and this color here 69, 69, and 69 like that. And let's give it a box shadow of minus 4 pixel minus 4 pixel then 10 pixel here and then this rgba color 67 67 67 and then 0 0.5 opacity then let's give you a border radius of 50 percent and a margin of 50 pixel up and down and then auto left and right now let's style our symbols which will indicate the numbers 12 three, six, and nine. So we'll have two lines at 90 degrees to each other. So now let's grab the outer clock face and give you a position of relative. Let's give you a background of one, five, one, five, one, five, overflow hidden. Let's give you a width of 100%, height 100%, and the border radius of 100%. Now let's grab the inner text, that's our brand name, and give it a color of gray. Let's give it a margin top of 200 pixel, font size 12 pixel, font family sans serif, and the letter spacing 1 pixel. Now let's grab the outer clock face and give it this after pseudo element. Say webkit dash transform rotate 90 degree mouse transform rotate 90 degree transform rotate 90 degree. So 
so again let's grab the outer clock face with the after studio and then the outer clock face again with before studio and then the outer clock face and let's grab the indicator content that will be empty string like that position absolute with five pixel let's give you a height of 100 percent background of 1d f5 2f z index 0 left 49 percent now we need four more lines at different angle degrees to indicate the remaining number marking so let's grab the outer clock face and the indicator like that and let's give them a background of bd bd and cd let's give them a width of three pixel like that then let's grab the outer clock face class again and grab the indicator and then the first indicator like that let's give them this web kit dash transform rotate 30 degree for the most transform rotate 30 degree as well and then transform rotate 30 degree now let's grab this second indicator so it will be outer clock face dot indicator dot indicator dash two and let's give this this will be 60 degrees all of them let's grab our third indicator so outer clock face dot indicator dot indicator dash three and then web kit transform rotate 120 degree that'll be 120 degree as well transform 120 degrees and then let's grab the last indicator so and that will be 150 degree all of them like that now let's grab our inner clock face class and create a small circle at the center of the clock precisely at the junction of these lines here so let's grab the inner clock face like that and give a position of absolute let's give it a top of 10 percent left 10 percent with 80 percent and height of 80 percent let's give you a background of black like that and then web kit border radius 100 percent that'll be 100 percent as well and then border radius here 100 percent and then z index one now let's grab the inner clock face and give it this before studio element so content to be empty string like that and then position absolute top 50 percent left 50 percent with 16 pixel and a height of 16 pixel let's give it a border radius of 20 pixel margin left minus 9 pixel and then margin top minus 6 pixel background 4d 4b 6 3 and then is the index of 11 now let's style all our clock hands that indicate our minutes and second so let's grab the clock hand let's give it a width of 50 percent right 50 percent height six pixel and then let's give you a background of six one a f f f like that position absolute top 50 percent and then border radius six pixel transform origin 100 percent and then transform rotate and then 90 degrees like that transform timing function cubic busier than 0 0.1 2.7 0.58 then 1 like that now let's grab our shorthand so dot clock hand dot shorthand like that let's give you a width of 30 percent and then z index of 3 let's grab the clock long hand so 
clock hand dot long hand and give it a height of 3 pixel z index 10 and the width of 40 percent so let's grab the seconds hand dot clock hand dot seconds dash hand let's give you a background of ee791a and then a width of 45 percent and height of 2 pixel and there you go now we are done with the css part now let's activate our clock using javascript so i'm gonna come here and create a javascript file and name it clock.js then let's hook this file with our index.html file using the script tag like so so let's go back in our js file to activate our clock so first of all um let's grab all our clock hands using their class names so for the second hand let's create a variable and call it seconds hand in camel case like so then equals document dot query selector and then you pass the class name there dot seconds dash hand exactly how we name it um you add this dot here just to indicate it's a class then let's do the same for the minutes hand and then for the hours hand too the class name here is called shorthand now let's create a function and call it activate clock so inside this function let's use the javascript date object to create an instance of the date class from which we can get all kinds of things like the current date, the current month, the current hours, the current minute and so on. So I will create a variable and call it current time and then store the date object there like so. So now to get the seconds, I will create a variable again and call it seconds. Then I will say current time dot get seconds. And remember this current time represents our date object and our date object consists of stops like days, month, year, seconds, milliseconds and so on. So here we are only grabbing the seconds function from the date object and then storing it here. Obviously we want our seconds hand to be rotating around our clock which is a circle and the circumference of a circle is 360 degrees. So here I will create a variable and call it seconds degree. Then it calls this seconds divide by 60. I'm dividing it by 60 because one minute equals 60 seconds. Then I will times it with 360, which is the circumference of a circle. Then plus 90. So to rotate the seconds hand, we will grab the seconds hand and then say dot style dot transform equals and then here I want to use a back tick for concatenation. So this is not a single quotation mark um, but a back tick which is located at the top left of your keyboard um, close to number one underneath the escape key depending on the type of keyboard you're using. Anyways, inside here, I will call this rotate function, then pass in this seconds degree here, like so. If you check our CSS file, you'll find this rotate function where we are transforming the clock's hand. Yeah, here it is. So now for the minute hand, it will be a similar concept. So I will create a minute variable, then say current time dot get minutes. And then I will create another variable to store our minute degrees because the minute hand will be rotating too around the circle. We will divide the minutes by 60 because one hour equals 60 minutes. And then we will times it with 360 which is the circumference of a circle. And then we will add it to the seconds like so, times six plus 90 degrees. Then to rotate this minute hand, 
we will grab the minute hand also and transform it like so. Now let's create our last logic for the short hand, which is the hours hand. So it's going to be a similar concept. We will get the hours like so, then set the hours degree as this hand will be rotating to. We will divide the hours by 12 and then times it with 360. Then minutes divide by 60 times 30 then plus 90 now let's transform the hours hand to like so so underneath this function let's set an interval to activate the clock function so the activate clock function which enables the rotation will be called every one second that's every 1000 milliseconds and then here we will call the function like that activate clock and there we have our clock activated this is the exact time of the day i'm recording this whenever you run your code your clock will start working with the exact time of the day and it will continue working like that forever unless you decide to close the application so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and found some values in it. Please don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.